this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply and divide scientific notation together. As we do this, just like multiplying or dividing in separate problems, we will multiply and divide the numbers, and then we will use our exponent properties. on the tens. So, for example, if we have 4.2 times 10 to the 4th times all multiplied by 8.1 times 10 to the negative 6th all over 1.4 times 10 to the 5th, we'll just start working this out using our properties. First, multiplying the numbers on top, so we've got to simplify the numerator before we divide. 4.2 times 8.1, again, probably doing that on the calculator, is 34.02. And then we'll use exponent properties on the tens, times 10 to the, adding exponents, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. And that's still all over 1.4 times 10 to the 5th. Now we can do the division. Dividing 13 point, I'm sorry, 34.02 divided by 1.4, again using the calculator to help out, is going to be 24. 0.3, using exponent properties on the tens, times 10 with division, you recall the exponent property says we must subtract. Negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Now, we have to be careful because this is not our final answer. It's not in correct scientific notation because the decimal's in the wrong place. It should be after the first digit. So it should be 2.43, which means to do that, we have to multiply by 10 to the first power, moving the ex the decimal point once, and then we still have this times 10 to the negative 7 at the end, which we can use our exponent properties on to combine the tens together. Our final answer is 2.43 times 10 to the, adding exponents, negative sixth power. Let's try another example. In example two, we notice the multiplication has to be done in the denominator, but the pattern is much the same. Multiplying the numbers together, again, the numerator is still going to be the same, 2.01 times 10 to the negative fifth, all over. In the denominator, 1.5 times 3.2 is 4.8, and then we'll use our exponent properties on the tens. Adding the exponent negative 3 and negative 4 gives us negative 7. Then we're ready to divide. 2.01 divided by 4.8 is 0.41875. Then we'll use our exponent properties on the tens times 10 to the, being very careful that we're doing negative 5 minus negative 7. Make sure we're subtracting a negative, which means we add the opposite, we have the second power. Again, though, we'll notice this is not quite in scientific notation because the decimal's in the wrong place. It needs to be put after the first significant digit, giving us 4.1878. Oops, that should be 7.5. Copied it wrong here. 1.875, sorry about that. Times 10. Because we moved the decimal point once, but it was too small, so it has to be a negative 1. And then we still have this times 10 squared at the end which means we'll use our exponent properties to combine the last few tens together. And for our final answer, we have 4.1875 times 10, adding the exponents to the positive 1 power. Do that multiplication first, then divide what's left. Make sure your final answer is in perfect scientific notation, and we've arrived at our solution.